ready? Are you ready? It's four eyes, four eyes. You know what time it is. You are now tuned into. He's raising a ninja because somebody got to. When you do it, how you do it, hammer. Boom, shaka, locker, bopping with the chief rocker. You are now tuned into. He's raising a ninja because somebody got to. When you do it, how you do it, hammer. Hashtag girl dad, what up big papa? Yeah, when push comes, then I might shove for the right pub Everybody know the first rule of Fight Club We got them soldiers ready, we on a mission When they broadcast the revolution on your television You better listen and pay attention But if you can't cope, you can't act like it ain't dope When Leah makes soap, Lil Nugget We got a diamond out of rough world With black girl magic and a power puff girl I power up, curl, bench press, heavyweight Mind, body, and soul combined, I can levitate Sing, sing Celebrate feeling victorious, glorious assassins and samurai warriors. You are now tuned into. Oh, He's raising a ninja because somebody got to. When you do it, how you do it, hammer. Proper. Boom, shaka, locker, bopping with the chief rocker. You are now tuned into. Oh, He's raising a ninja because somebody got to. When you do it, how you do oh, it, hammer. Proper. Hashtag girl dad, what up, big papa? And now it's time to start the show. The show. The show. The show. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Winjay J. Stone, a.k.a. Doctor. I hope you liked the intro. Just a quick note before the show starts. I got a new camera. I was trying to work some stuff out. Leah's camera froze a little bit, but it's all good. The audio's still there, and we powered through it. Um, if you're watching this, wherever you're watching this, just do me a favor and go to YouTube and subscribe. And uh, if you leave a comment, I will DM you uh, one of our other episodes that is, like, hidden that we were just doing a test run on, but it's a nice episode, but I don't want to post it, but I'll share it with you if you show interest. And, um, yeah, just subscribe on YouTube for me. I got a lot of people on audio, so I'm trying to force you guys to subscribe on YouTube because I got more stuff coming down the pipe. It's what I'm asking of you, and I'd appreciate it if you did it. If you don't, uh, I understand that, too, because a subscription is still a subscription, even if it's free. Enjoy the show. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Winjit Stone, a.k.a. O'Doctor daughter leah welcome to raising a ninja i don't know what episode it is the number will be up there we took a hiatus we've been doing some practice swings to get back in the groove but whatever number it is it is maybe eight i'm feeling eight or Ooh, nine 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 sounds about right now sounds about like the last episode that was official so i'm I remember guessing you telling me that we had eight okay before that'd be good if Sometimes you actually before That'd be good if you actually remember something. I, I, I'll buy that. We'll see. I um, remember something. You d- you do remember something. Yes, very rarely. If it's important, I don't. <laughs> it's just the worst time to forget. Yeah. Um, There's just too many important things to actually think about. So if you're just jumping in, this is a podcast with me and the kids. Sometimes I will be without the kid to talk about parental things. Most of the time I will be with her as I feel as though I can discuss any topic with her currently she's now officially a woman so you know even that's off the table you know we talked about that way before i was ready to have the conversations so <laughs> we could talk about whatever on this uh podcast together but today leah do you know what we're gonna talk about uh you had the movie yeah we're gonna talk, do a quick movie review at the end yes mm-hmm. and uh the other thing we're gonna talk about i like to surprise her so i get normal natural reactions to things i don't tell her so we're going to talk about school right now. Very cool. <laughs> Super cool. Epic. School. School. So how was um, the COVID learning from home for you? It was trash. The teachers didn't know how to do anything. Most of the teachers are older, so they don't know how to do online stuff, and it was just horrible. Some of the teachers didn't even do it because they didn't have, like, good Wi-Fi at home. So if they were to even do Zooms, it would just crash. And I had to email every single one of my teachers so that I can, like, schedule my own personal Zoom meetings every single day. So so you don't you didn't like it? That was trash. That was the worst year of my life. Wow. That I w- was the worst. I would say you're being dramatic, but seeing as how you're 13, you, that might be the worst experience. And it was only three months. It wasn't a full year. No, it was just horrible. The teaching was horrible. So you... So y- you didn't like it, is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do 
to be fair, you know, the teachers were in a bad situation too. I think a lot of teachers took it as a break and didn't want to do their work. Um, yeah, some, all they did was just assign things and then they didn't even explain it. One of my teachers, she spelled things wrong. She had spelling errors in her Google in her Google Docs. What is that? What is that? Um, <laughs> she gives us horrible examples. <laughs> Mind you, uh, Leah's in seventh grade. Um, Eighth now. Okay. I said was in the seventh what grade. Was. We're talking okay. about the situation. Okay. Stop correcting me. <laughs> um, so, but in our school, there were some kids that had the same kind of problem with high school teachers, teachers that had been around. Some of them took it as a, I get to stay home, and these kids are going to just read these assignments and fend for themselves. And uh, I heard some teachers telling other kids to go have another kid explain it to them. Yes. And I'm like, that's not their job. You're the teacher. You're the teacher. I had to go to my... Um extracurricular friends that are like in um what's it called uh it's right above uh average classes i forget what it is but ap classes yes so some of my friends are in ap classes and literally i had to go to them for everything to explain things to me because they already learned the lessons because in ap it's not like you do it's not like are you teaching anything harder? It's just you're teaching things faster. So. Yeah. So, yeah, that was your experience last year. How are your grades? I could have failed, but I scheduled Zoom meetings. That was the only reason I didn't. How could you could have failed? Because I, I'm i not good at, like, when there's a lot of words put in front of me for every single class, and there's, like, f- five assignments, and I just have to read to do everything, they, like threw in a lot of words and it was just difficult especially for math math was the easiest one because she was actually willing to help you and she was like older like she's been teaching there for a while so she understands like the students or whatever she's just really nice math was the easiest out of everything and that's weird to say but when you say you could have failed what what grades did you get did you're saying yes you got b so I could have if I didn't schedule Zoom meetings, okay? It was really difficult without the Zoom meetings, without them, like... Without you turning in work? With No, I'm not, like... <laughs> ugh, it's just hard. You're, you're, you're explaining something, and I'm trying to explain for people that are watching or listening. You're being extremely erratic with your statement of saying, I could have failed. You, you got all... You didn't get any Cs or Ds or Fs. Yeah. Okay? So... How could you have almost failed then without these Zoom meetings? Like, because was it you just not finishing certain work or not completing certain assignments? It was just me struggling with understanding everything. Okay. It was just hard. Yeah. You, you, you might have gotten bad grades, but you wouldn't have failed. I'm just saying so you could pay attention to what you say. You're being very 13 right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could have died. It was Pepper. But it was... On my sandwich. That's like you. No. Well, I don't like pepper on my sandwiches, <laughs> and I could die. It could be a real thing. Yeah, it could have pickles on it, and I could have died. You. So, okay. So, yes, I could have died from pickles. That's just the way it is. Um. So, going forward, do you not want to do remote learning is what you're saying? I love school. In school. Not outside of school. And you're fine wearing a mask all day. I love masks. I love masks. Okay. And you're fine not high-fiving your friends and slapping each other in the back of the head or whatever you guys do? Um, I don't really have that many friends, so. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I you, do. Okay. I do. I okay. Do. Could you please Yeah. just stop? Like, you're killing me lately. You are very much over-exaggerating. Yeah. Okay. Because, again, you're starting to sound like an emo kid with all this stuff, and it's driving I'm not, me crazy. I'm not. I do have friends. You do have friends. It's just that I fell out of contact with some of them because of quarantine. Yes, because of COVID. Yeah. That is is true. You you don't get to see people. That's the only reason why. You're not getting to hang out with them, but they're still your friends. So, my God. See, this is what happens when you have a teenager or a kid and you don't talk to them and and correct them directly with their conversations. You have a a bunch of friends. Are they all your best friends? No, No. But you are... 
very friendly person with a lot of friends. You're not going to everybody's house right now. We're not going to pool parties and stuff right now. You're not playing sports like we usually do. It sucks. But, yes, it does all suck. But saying you don't have any friends, you got to light one out. We'll live. But saying you don't have any friends, just, again, watch your tone and rhetoric, please. Yes, yes. Okay. Um. So you want school. You want to be in school. Yes. Even if it's only for those two days a week or whatever. Yes. And you feel like that would better help your education. Yes. <laughs> because this year, um, one of the teachers I heard was there for a while. So I don't know. It's just easier for everyone because the teachers know how to teach that way. So at least if they were bad online, like, you couldn't just go in and they could explain things. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, in my mind, again, not all teachers are the same, but I feel like they'd have to do their job. I know teachers say that they don't want to be in. Uh, some of the proposals across the country where teachers had to be in school to do the remote teaching. And even then, the teacher's like, oh, I can't be in school. It's put me in danger. I'm like, well, you're in school by yourself. You're just sitting at your desk to make sure that you're there if the kids need you to maybe yeah. go on the chalkboard and write something out. So. The extremes are really crazy, and it's really weird times, and everybody's got a decision to make for themselves. Some people are not sending their kids back to school. Some people are sending their kids to school. Some people are sending their kids to school full time. Some people are letting their kids go to school with no mask on. I mean. Yeah, I know. Um, the thing about little kids, like I understand they don't want to wear masks. but Yeah, not only little kids. Little kids aren't going to pay attention to the – not hugging their friends. Not yeah, they're just touching dinosaurs, everything. Dinosaurs, not, not blowing snot bubbles. Like I saw the one meme that made me crack up. It was like when your kid comes home and he went to school with a Spider Man mask and he comes back with a Superman mask because he traded masks <laughs> with a friend, which is something that is very viable and could happen. Yeah, I can see that happening. So you're just pro going back to school? Yes. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we might do softball coming up um, and see how that goes. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I feel like school, um, it's not like you're out of breath all the time, but like if you're going to be running and doing all this stuff, I don't really know. Well, yeah, I mean. I mean, it's not like person-to-person contact, obviously. Yeah, like and wrestling would obviously yeah. be out. Obviously. MMA is out right now yeah anything like football and anything like that much contact but like softball it's like when you're in outfield you're just spread out it's pretty far i don't know i just feel like it's not that not that bad in school but when it comes to sports you're like out of breath so we'll see about softball and uh the the protocols and procedures they're gonna have in place and uh, go from there. A lot of people are have already played softball this summer and baseball this summer. And uh, there's been good and bad situations where things have been good and things have fallen off the rails. So I guess we'll see. I can already see the people complaining about wearing masks. Oh, I can barely even breathe when I'm finished running. Well, now what am I going to do? In sports, I mean, you're outside. I, I assume... They would line you up separately so you wouldn't have to wear your masks. I mean, we have the whole field. Same thing like when you're playing catch and when you're running, you just run in like your own yeah. line as opposed to. And especially when you're warming up and stuff, you don't have to be like right next to each other. You already have to be on length apart. Yeah. The closest time you'd be close to someone is when you're at bat and running the base. Yeah. And they might, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. And if you're doing it right, you shouldn't be right like. On top of them, unless no. they're, like, throwing it right next to you, and that's for, like, 10 seconds. Yeah, and you're trying to tag them out. Yeah. So, again, we'll see. All right, if, and if it looks like there's cut scenes coming into this, there is. My camera's acting funny today, so we're just doing the best we can to get by. If you uh, didn't know, we used to go to movies all the time. Like, what, like every day? <laughs> yeah, every we, single day. Every single day. We had the Unlimited, and we would, like, use it to death. Like, if we didn't like a movie, we would just walk out 
And, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, it was so good just to, you know, just a thing to do, especially in the summertime when it's like super hot, like you didn't want to get in the pool. You just want to go wait out the hottest part of the day. We just go hit a movie up on our way to go do other things. There's always new movies. There's always new movies. And if not, we'll watch something else. But that being said, um, I, you have been watching adult content movies Oh gosh! See when I say that, I gotta always correct myself because people are crazy. You've been watching rated R action violent movies for about the last like five years now. So much so you won't even let me take you to go see Disney movies anymore, even though I want to see them. You just refuse to see the cartoon movies because they're not interesting. They're not interesting. You are all about like the crime and the punishment and mystery and murder and action and you yeah. know. I fully actually entertaining. Things. Yeah, I'm 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 on board with that, and uh, you know, again, if if you don't know us or me, we used to have the system where I put my hand on her knee and she closed her eyes, and or I'd uh, tap her knee and she closed her ears, and then I'd squeeze the release and she can get back in it because it's only like thirty seconds of what I call kissy time or you know sexy time <laughs> where stuff was going on where I felt like she was a little too young to see it, but it didn't make anything for the rest of the story, so. Um, that being said, I'm going to play a trailer of, uh, my buddy Romney's movie that we watched and it, is it for children, Leah? Uh, I mean, there is a child in it, but I wouldn't say it's for children. <laughs> yeah, there is a, there is a young adult actor in it, did a great job, but it, Leah, you were absolutely right. It is not for children. And if you don't know your child, then don't, I mean, I wouldn't even like, it's not even for like kids under like fifteen on an average age. If you just want to throw an average number on it, I don't, think it, it was that bad. I don't think it was that bad either. I'm just trying to save myself from people in my comment section talking about I watched it with my kid. So it's not for kids; it's for adults. But you have to know your child and know your situation. My child is a child that can handle. If you don't know your children that well, or like with like movies or whatever, just watch it first. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. So, that being said, we're going to watch the Red Band trailer and listen to that real quick and then talk about the movie. I promised I was going to do my best to keep TJ out of prison, I'm and that's do what I'm going to do. Stop there, husband! I'm not talking to you, yeah, I'm talking a, to them! It's about me, okay. though! I'm really just following my calling and being a motivational speaker. Last I checked, you're the subject of a 10 minute student film, not the Green Mile. Anything's possible. It's like prison pussy, you know? You just got to use your imagination. Have you contacted your family? Y'all kidding, right? My family probably waiting for me outside right now. They be here. I just bought a new way. What up, mama? I know you didn't bring these cameras with you. This is my room. Got the whole room smelling like Michael Moore asshole. Being, TJ. Being TJ's PO is frustrating. He stay doing some stupid shit. Don't sugarcoat nothing, nigga. Just tell me how you feel. You like it or not? It was trash. Like hot garbage. Man, fuck you, nigga. That verse was cold and pale and pussy. EQ that shit. Let's do the hook. As of today, I'm strictly on my billionaire grind. I denounce that petty hustle. Hey, y'all got y'all got some change or bus pass a nigga to hold. I'm gonna build my motivational company from the flow up till it blow up and get my dough up. Hey, you fuck black guys. Hey, take you can take that shit out. They can edit that out. Why can't your ass park on the street like regular fucking people? How much they paying for your little life story? That's classified. You don't need bars to be in prison. You gotta ask yourself, why is it a nigga fresh out the joint can see a brighter future for you than you can see for yourself? Desired position. Doggy style. That's it. We're what? Done. No, sure. No, I'll, you play too I'll much. I'm joking. Sure, no. come on, fill it out for me. No, you fill it out. Um, okay. So again, if uh, yeah, if you got kids, it's not for the kids unless you you know your kid. Uh, Do you like the movie, Leah? Yeah, it was good. Uh, I liked the movie. I thought it was funny. Um, is it comedy? Or <laughs> it's. I, I feel like it's comedy. It. I. F it's comedy. It's um. It's comedy with a. It's a. It's a deep message with a purpose, right? Yeah. So, you know, uh, what was your favorite part of the movie? Um, okay, we're allowed to spoil. Okay, Okay. wait. Good. Oh, gosh, no, I don't. I can't trust you. You're going to spoil it. Okay, <laughs> what was what was your favorite part about the movie with the kid? This, see, I can't. I, 
a really trying here. You are really trying here. Um, and you froze again. It's okay. I'm just gonna leave your picture up there. You got a good look on your face. I'm I'm done trying to fix it today. Um, so, I, I, okay, we've already discussed this, but I can't trust you. So, um, <laughs> your, one of your favorite parts was when he got out of the car and he was talking to his nephew on the side. Remember? Yes. And then he yes, said, and then he stole his idea. <laughs> yeah, he stole his idea. He's like, "Isn't it a good idea?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah." And he went back to the car. He's like, "Yeah, my idea was blah blah blah." Yeah, and then he kept calling the Asian girl. That white girl. <laughs> Do the whole movie. That was your other favorite part. Yeah, um, that was good parts. Yeah, it's it 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 was a. I. You remember the first when you were watching the movie. And you were saying, wow, that grass is really high, the, the the lawn and the yard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So in my mind, and then the next day they had obviously cut it. They didn't show him cutting it, but they cut it. So in my mind I had a thought process about how that was and what it meant. And uh, I actually talked to Romney about it, and he corrected me on the purpose of it. So, again, I'm not going to spoil stuff about the movie. Uh but it's a funny movie with a purpose about getting out of jail, redemption, believe it in yourself. Now I kind of want to know about the grass. I know, I know. See, you, <laughs> you want to know about even the grass? Tell me that. What I is know your I didn't because I, I, I was saving it for the podcast. So, so I then could, you not to tell me. Yeah. And then for you to tell me after the podcast. Exactly because that's, that's the same reason that I want to motivate other people to go watch this movie so they can figure out about the grass because it is something in there with the lawn being overgrown and then having to be taken down. And it's just little subtle things that I saw in the movie. The other moment that we liked a lot was when TJ asked the girl, he was trying to explain to her that her college ma- mindset wasn't the right mindset for the world. Yes, you know, she I saw w- that. That was really good. That was really good. Like, there's something to being educated versus learning. And the nuggets that are dropped throughout the movie – uh, amplify that message over and over and over again. And you felt resonation to that because that's how we talk to each other all the time. You know, yeah. I, I explain something to you or I tell you something and then I tell you a different view or version of it to what you really are like, wow, okay, I get that because it makes you feel more. It's a, a human response versus conditioned response as it's said in the movie. Um, so, yeah, go go check out uh, T. T. Y. Jackson, Purpose Over Prison. Uh, good movie, and uh, I'll tell you another personal note, Leah. So, you know, my dad, your grandfather, went to jail, right? Yes. Okay. When he went to jail, he was in a period of his life where he was down and out, and he was on drugs and all kinds of stuff, right? Yes. When he went to jail. He was on hardcore drugs. He went cold turkey and quit the drugs. Now, people say, oh, well, he was in jail. Oh, and how hard is it to stop doing drugs? Trust you me, if you've never known anybody in jail, drugs are in jail. You can get drugs readily available, pretty much whatever you want, as long as you got some commissary or you're willing to do some things for some things. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah he, he stopped doing drugs, um, basically turned himself around, uh, instead of going, same thing as in the movie, TJ opted not to go to halfway house. He stayed in prison to do a, a work program with animals there. My dad, uh, instead of going to a halfway house, went to a school program where he learned computers. He used to be a mechanic. He hurt his hand. He had an accident. He couldn't do mechanics anymore. That's how he got into drugs because of the pain. And, da, 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 da. and um, he started doing computers. He went to school for that. And he got straight A's. He got good grades. He did not want to come home to me until he had a job and he got a job. He started writing poetry. He started his own publishing company for that poetry, got his books published, um, got them in all the Barnes and Nobles, uh, sold a bunch of poetry books, got my books published under his company and my books were in Barnes and Nobles for a good three months. I mean, I was only in like six or seven of them, but it was still cool to go walk in and see my books there. And somewhere out in the world, someone has my poetry from when I was in high school and being overly dramatic like you are currently being. I, too, was overly dramatic. You could read that stuff. Um, so, 
this movie really resonated with me because the same way he wanted to be a motivational speaker and, and do something with himself, I firsthand saw a guy who I was proud of who had everything, lost everything, got back out and built himself up to where, you know, you were obviously young, but he would come home and spend a month with us at the holidays because he worked for himself, you know? Yeah. That he had built a life for himself. And the same way um, I work for myself and I do things for myself and I'm trying to teach you. Shout out to Hygiene Queen. Dot com shout out to leah.com you know go buy some soap and some beard oil we're selling that stuff now uh, you know to go work for yourself and do for self and this movie amplifies that it's another reason it really resonated with me and i liked it and it's a totally different character than his character on a million little things is it not it's i just heard like a thing okay Oh, I was just saying, it's a totally different character than his show on a million yeah. little things. <laughs> totally like, different. I just got like totally like sidetracked. I just heard like a beep in my headphones. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Um, yeah. I don't know what's going on today. Everything's just bothering me, but I'm going to put this out because I'm tired of waiting to do it and we'll just fix it uh, later over the next couple of days. I got a new camera and I shouldn't be playing with a new camera. I should just use what I'm used to using and that is what it is. But you've been becoming really popular on the internet lately, and I we're know. Gonna, we're going to talk about that on the next episode on keeping uh, kids in check on the internet. I've done a pretty good job with you, but I can already see I'm going to have to reel you in because you know you got a couple likes and you got a few views, and you're thinking you're cool. I am cool. <laughs> oh my god! Actually, I'm more than cool. I'm awesome. Okay. Okay. I'm popular. I'm famous. You're famous. Um. Well, don't you tell know, someone online, like one of my friends from school, uh-huh. literally asked for a shout out. Okay, that's they, pretty chill. That's, that's pretty, pretty, but you don't have any friends though, so I don't know who's asking oh. for a shout out, right? <laughs> I, you don't have any friends. I'm so glad your video froze because yeah, I should pluck you in the forehead. Okay, <laughs> um, do not tell people where they can all find you at. Just tell them the regular basis of where they can find you at on the internet. Say, tell the people. Um, Twitter. TikTok? No. Just see. Oh. At Leah or at Leah SMS. Yeah. If you're looking for Leah, Leah.com. Hygiene Queen. Do we got new soaps we got coming out, right? Yes. All right. We got new soaps coming out. Go to the site. Get you some soap. Get clean. If you got a beard or you know somebody that has a beard, um, I've been making beard oil and I've been using Leah's scents that she created and they would smell lovely and your face will be luxurious and your hair will grow eight times faster on your face. I can't promise your head because I'm bald and I can't lie and say that in advertisements like advertisements do. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> yeah, I will. Ooh, I will shave you back clean down to the bone, doggy. Don't no. don't mess Mm-mm. with me. We could try it on me. Oh, yeah. I guess we could. We could see if it grows. The grow will get the growth. Anyway, I'm your boy Jenny Stone. And give a doctor. I'm at O-Doctor on anything that's important. And if it's not important, I'm not there. This has been Raising a Ninja. Half fail, half succeed. We're going to piecemeal maybe this. episode nine. And it might be episode nine. And we're going to piecemeal this episode together. Um, leave us a comment. Let us know if you like the show. Uh, send me a message. I'm actually going to be checking my emails now because I've been out of the game for doing that too. And we'll see you next episode. All right? Probably episode 10 because I remember things. Oh, my God. See, this is why we don't like children. We're out. We love children. No, we don't. We're out.